I do like doing interviews because, you know, they, there's a sense of excitement because I could get into trouble. And because I, I've got no filter and I don't know what I'm going to say, and I might cause an international incident. And uh, that's exciting. Ons gesprek verloopt zonder incidenten, maar zijn nieuw album is nog niet uit en hij heeft al op andere zere tenen getrapt. De Russen vinden zijn nieuwe single Party Like a Russian racistisch en beledigend. Whenever I release a video or a, a song, lots of people are angry anyway. You know, <laughs> a lot of people like me, but a lot of people really hate me. I doubt that the truth is that there's 147 million people going, that Robbie Williams, he's a wanker. <laughs> Robbie Williams begon al 16-jarige bij de razend populaire boysband Take That. Als soloartiest heeft hij al meer dan 70 miljoen albums verkocht. En toch is hij op zijn 42ste nog steeds onzeker. If you realize that your album is going to be released, are you like, oh my god, I hope they like it? Yeah, I'm terrified. Really? Yeah, I have anxiety about it. And um, it didn't start last week, the anxiety. It's sort of, I took it into the studio with me for the last three years. Die angsten compenseert hij met zijn grote mond, zoals onlangs nog in de Britse Graham Norton show. What is the maddest thing a fan has given you or done or whatever? Herpes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go out and be entertaining. And I have meager talents. And I don't have a high intellect. So, you know, when I go on TV, I feel as though it's like wrestling or a bar fight. I grab the nearest tool and, you know, defend myself. Yeah. We're not fighting here. No, no, we're not. We're not. But this is more relaxed, you know. So relaxed that Tina afloop zelfs even tijd heeft om met ons op de foto te gaan. <laughs>